Hi, Yancey. Hello, Yancey. Tom? When did you come aboard? Cassius Crossing. Had to go down to New Orleans. Thought a moonlight ride would be very nice. How's the new boiler? Never you mind the new boiler. There's a hot poker game going on in the card room. It's all black legs, but awful lot of money on the table. Have to check in, see if we can't keep some of that money aboard. That's what I had in mind. Pa, it was such a beautiful night. Why don't you stay up here? Hello, Rebel. Toby? Toby Cook. That's right. Uh, would you mind pointing that sharp somewhere else? The last time you pointed that at me, one of the bullets hit me, remember? I remember. I'm not looking for trouble. Tonight. When'd you get out of prison? Three days ago. Did you have to use my boat for your uh, momentous homecoming? Yeah, see, that's only logical. Here you go bust up Gallatin Street, my own velvet touch. You shoot a hole in me, you get me sent to prison. Actually, I gotta come home on your boat. I might have gotten a chance to sink it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Besides, the Sultan is a public carrier. That means you gotta give a passage even to an ex-convict. Doesn't mean I have to allow you to place my passages. What, the game? No. Bunch of black lace gamblers. There's not an honest dealer at that table. Now, you wouldn't stop a fella from trying to make a dishonest dollar, would you? All right, let's join them. But I feel like I'm throwing a lion to a den of Daniels. <laughs> Yancey! Yancey, distress signals! Captain Tom says come to the top side fast. All right, Willie. You think you're gonna handle these boys? Well, I'll try. Tulliver's plantation from the landing, it looks like. You're right. Bower into the bank. Last it, Yancey. We'll be late to the levee. We can't stop. We're stopping. Oh. Too darn many captains on this blasted tea kettle. All right, Willie. Wheel her over to larboard. Find that swirl near Tulliver's. Yancey! You gonna hang on that blasted riverbank all night? Hold your horses, Captain Tom. You find anything? Strange. Come in. Sorry, friends. Free lady. Hands up, gentlemen. Friends, I think we're being held up. Well, aren't any of you going to try to stop the bold bandits? Next time, it'll be three inches lower. Put the money in the bag. And remember, the Lord loveth the cheerful giver. We can't hold against this current forever. Shove off! Pull up the gangplank! All right, back her off. Aye, aye, sir. Passengers all clear, Captain? No, this confounded poker game is still on. I'll take care of it. Thank you, Yancey. Who's winning? Come on, man. Toby, I thought you said you could handle these boys. The 
boys gave me no problem. It was the girls that bothered me. Oh? Yeah, two of them, blondes. Two blonde young ladies got on with me at Cassis Crossing. Well, you ought to be more careful who you let ride on your boat. As you say, this is a public carrier. Gentlemen, Captain Tom will reimburse you for your losses. I hate to seem ungracious and say thanks, sucker, so I'll just say thanks. It's all right, Toby. The Sultana is always willing to reimburse anyone who's robbed a border, even if the bandits were two big, strong girls. They weren't very big, but they were very sincere. Think you'll find them again? I'll find them. Oh, 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 I'm so, oh, I'm so terribly sorry. Uh, can you tell us how to get to Bourbon Street? Oh, well, you're on Bourbon Street. Oh, this is Bourbon Street. Oh, I'm so thank terribly you so sorry. much. Thank you so very much. Certainly, ladies. Good day. Good day. to introduce the famous war photographer, Mr. Matthew Brady, Mr. Derringer. How do you do? My pleasure, sir. I've commissioned Mr. Brady to make a photographic record of the beauties of New Orleans. And beauties they are indeed. Would you excuse us, please, sir? Certainly. The NC Secret Service reports Toby Cook has been released from prison and is on his way here. I'll see you soon, Rebel. Mr. Administrator. Wasn't that Toby to Cook? Then he's already here. I want you to watch him. I don't want another Gallatin Street here, Yancey. Stay very close to him. And report to me if anything happens. I have a feeling Mr. Cook's going to stay very close to me. Pay, Mr. Administrator. Yancey! Yancey! I've been robbed uh, by some girls. At two, Brute? Yeah. Two of them. They they picked my pocket. No. Well, whose wallet was it? Well, it was mine. You think you'd recognize them if you saw them again? I'll never forget their pretty, crooked little faces as long as I live. I think the time has come now to find them. Come along, Joe. Oh, thanks, Yancey. I... Gentlemen, the gun is loaded, and you're both trespassing. Is that any way to greet old friends, Miss Elsie? Yancey, I didn't recognize you. It's been a long time. I feel so foolish thinking you were a robber. Robbers shouldn't bother you, Miss Elsie. That's why I came. Oh? I'm looking for two robbers. Young, blonde. Female. I believe they're living with you. You're quite wrong, Yancey. Well, one of us is. Them. Them's the ones. The cheerful takers. I don't know what you mean. They're the ones that... Last night on the river, you sent up distress signals. The diversion worked nicely. While the passengers were watching the show, I had the Sultana make an emergency landing. And your girls robbed the poker game. I sent up no rockets, Yancey. Miss Elsie, I watched you with a telescope. Now, do you want to tell me why you're playing this dangerous game? To see southern gentlewomen taking up armed robbery? The war taught us a lot of things, Yancey. Besides, I don't think it's a crime to steal from thieves. Yancey, I... Well, I made good the losses aboard the boat. Girls. Yes, Miss Elsie? 
Get the money and return it to Mr. Derringer. On one moment. My friend would like to have his wallet back. Accidentally, it just happened to be his. All right. Now you want to tell me the reason why? Very well, Yancey. Come along. without the front teeth. That's Frank, my son. The rest of them? Marcy Breckenridge, the last of the Breckenridges. Marianne Claiborne and Frank Holmes. You knew their families, Yancey. Yes. We're all orphans. Have you ever seen our orphanages? No. I have. It's unbelievable. Anyone can claim a child. They can take them out and work them to death before they're ten. But I'm seeing to it that it won't happen to them or any others that I can afford. Would you like to meet them, Yancey? Yes. Hello, children. I want you to say how do you do to Mr. Derringer. We want a song. We want a song. As a very special treat, maybe Mr. Derringer would sing a song for us. I'm afraid I don't know anything to be appropriate. Oh, come on, Yancey. A lullaby, perhaps. Now, come closer, children. In Dixieland, where I was born in, early on a frosty morning, Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland. There I wish I was in Dixie. Hooray, hooray. In Dixieland, I'll take my stand to live or die in Dixie. Hooray, hooray. Away down south, Dixie. Hooray, hooray. Away down south in Dixie. Good night. Off to bed. Now do you understand, Yancey? Yes. I just hope that I don't see you in the calaboose. As a matter of fact, well, I'd like to help. How, Yancey? Well, I don't know exactly how, but... Well, I'm sure that we can find a way. Good night. Good night. I thought he'd never leave. Who are you? I'm your new partner. Relax. No move. I didn't know you considered yourself one of the beauties of New Orleans. <clears throat> Don't leave. I want to talk to you about who the devil is that? It's a friend of mine. Excuse me for a moment. Yeah. Yancy. If it wasn't urgent, I, I wouldn't be found here alive. Celsi? Yancey, there's a man, Toby Cook, and he... One of your me. victims. Well, you said you paid him. Well, I did. Mr. Cook has pride. Is he blackmailing you? The girls and I are to be his lookout at the Cotton Mart at midnight. Cotton Mart? Mr. Cook realizes that most of the money isn't in the banks. What am I going to do, Yancey? Do as he says. Yancey. Miss Elsie, do as he says. Now, excuse me. I have to see a man about a collector's item. Jody, I heard the word. We'll set the head. Now, if you'll just smile, Mr. Administrator. Smile. Now, that should make an acceptable informal camera study, don't you think so, Mr. Derringer? Yes, of course. Any news on Toby Cook? It will be. What do you mean, will be? 
Patience, Mr. Colton. I promise you'll have news for you by the end of the week. Mr. Brady. Now, Mr. Colton, this will be a time exposure, a full two minutes. Don't move, please. Yes, sir. I'd like for you to undertake a commission for me. A photograph with pleasure, sir. Yancey, don't smear. A friend of mine, tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow night? Night? Oh, <laughs> the wet collodion process has its limitations, sir. It'd be impossible at night, too long an exposure. Is it a lack of light that bothers you? Light? Oh, yes, light, light. That's the most important thing of all. Suppose I provide you with a light that's brighter than day. Now, I... Oh, good gracious, sir. <laughs> that would be an entirely different matter altogether. Brighter than day. Oh, that would be something indeed. All right, Mr. Colton. Thank you, Mr. Brady. Mr. Colton? Yancey! Mr. Oglethorpe, thank you for the use of your key. I guarantee you the money will still be in your safe in the morning. Yancey. I'm so glad to see you. Is he inside? Yes, alone. Fine. Now you take the girls. to the vault. Twenty-four feet. But I can't photograph through frosted glass. That'll be taken care of. Now remember, brighter than day. Oh, just open and shut. Right. <laughs> it's extraordinary. You ready? Ready? Turn your back. I'll tell you when to squeeze. at the Cypresses this afternoon. Thought you might like to attend. Very good likeness. Won't do any good. Still got the wet plate. That's why I thought you'd like to attend the auction. What time's the auction? Four o'clock. I'll be there. Bring lots of money. you all know why we've gathered here today for this auction. For the last time, ladies and gentlemen, you know that this auction is for a very worthy cause, the orphans, our very own orphans, those that Miss Elsie has adopted. This young lady has bid $12 for this famous vase. This vase was presented to Mr. Mason of the Mason-Dixon line fame. It's worth a fortune, ladies and gentlemen. Now, do I hear a, a bid, a higher bid? $13. Mr. Barker. You're supposed to bid on a later article. Oh, but Mother would love it. Sold to the young man for $13. Miss Elsie. Thanks, yes. Put him down for $13. I'll see that you get it. Now, how much have you made? Almost $83. Now, let's see if we can't make some more. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a most unique article. The only one of its kind in the world. In this sealed package, I have the first and only night action photograph ever taken. It was taken by that famous Civil War photographer, Matthew Brady. Ladies and gentlemen, a rare collector's item. What am I offering? $1,000. $1,100. $1,100, Mr. Toby Cook. $1,500. $1,500. Mr. Danger, just a minute, please. Mr. Cook? You open your mouth one more time, I'll stick your head in it. 
$1,600. $1,600 bid for Mr. Cook. Do I hear 17? Do I hear 17? Mr. Barker. Uh, Mr. Derringer, I think the bidding is closed. Pardon me, ladies. Wait a moment. There he is. Mr. Derringer, is that the picture Matthew Brady told me about? Definitely is, sir. I want it. I'm sorry. It's been entered as an article in the auction. If you want it, you'll have to bid for it. What's the bid? $1,600. $2,000. $2,000 is bid by the administrator of New Orleans, Mr. Colton. $2,500. $2,500 is bid by Mr. Toby Cook. $3,000. $3,000 bid by Mr. Colton. $3,500. $3,500. Mr. Derringer, I am not the United States Mint. $4,000, and that is my last and final offer. $4,500. $4,500. Very charitable of you, young man. Thank you. $5,000. Mr. Toby Cook bids $5,000. Going, going, gone to Mr. Cook. Thank you, Mr. Cook. Miss Elsie? Uh, Mr. Derringer, may I borrow your gavel? Thank you. Private, arrest that man for destroying evidence. Sorry, Toby. And arrest that man for withholding evidence. Oh, I'm sorry, Yancey. Is poker game over? Yes, so. Shall we start another? Well, friend Jailer? Uh, <coughs> all nine, gentlemen. Oh, that's a beautiful hand, Frank. Isn't that beautiful hand? Very, very good. Unfortunately. Straight flush. That's a beautiful hand. So you, you don't see many of those. No, no, very no, no. good. Unfortunately, uh, royal flush. A royal flush. Beats me. You know, fellas, I don't think this game is on the level. Let's play another hand. Fellas, I got no more money. You clean me out. I'll tell you what, friend Jailer. I'll put up all of my money. And uh, I'll put up all of my money. What will I put up? The, the keys. keys. <laughs>